one. And we know Mother's Day, it is just three days away now, a special day for all moms. But for some, it's going to feel just a bit extra sweet. This morning, I'm sitting down with two moms who just had their babies unexpectedly and early this week. They talk about what their new role is to them and what it means. It's this week's Morning Joe. Open your eyes for everyone. You can't blame little Colin Alexander for being just a bit camera shy. Four days old, so he's still a little guy. After all, this is a brand new world to him. What is the feeling you get as a first time mom when you look at Colin? It's pretty exciting. It's unbelievable that this, that he's ours. Erin Volkmer and her husband, Ed, rushed to St. Luke's this past Friday. They gave birth at 36 weeks. That's when they found out their healthy baby was a boy. I told my husband I didn't expect to have him for Mother's Day, so didn't think I'd be a mom yet, but he came early just in time for the party. You think that's some foreshadowing? Is he going to keep you on your toes? I think so. I think <laughs> he, he definitely will. In the NICU right now, Colin's breathing troubles have improved, but they're hoping he'll begin feeding from mom soon so they can head home. So maybe Mother's Day? Could be. Yep. Would that be a good gift? It would be a good day, yep, great gift. <laughs> that might be the only gift that he would be able to give at about a week old. <laughs> yes. So Agreed. I'd say take it if he gives it to you. Agreed. <laughs> they aren't the only ones waiting. Baby Carter is eager to head home too. It's definitely a wonderful present um, to have for Mother's Day this coming weekend. Marianne and Nathan Luff welcomed him early at 36 weeks as well, this time at Centerpoint Medical Center. With big sister there for the big reveal, the couple was excited to find out they'd be adding another man to the house. It was such a raw emotion that hit me when I seen that it was a boy that, I mean, I just can't describe it. I'm just so unbelievably happy. Both families say this Mother's Day, they plan to stay at home and celebrate their new families. And for the moms, celebrate their new jobs, perhaps the most important job in the world. I think growing up as a little girl, you always want to be just like mom. And um, so now I get to say that I do everything just like my mom did. And she's my inspiration. It's the greatest blessing in life, um, now knowing what that actually feels like. That is so sweet. Yeah, how exciting for them. Goosebumps. Big congratulations. And that last family I talked Aww. with, the Luff family, the yeah. one at Center Point, they are going home today. Yay. So they will be home in time to celebrate. And Good. then uh, the other family from St. Luke's, they're really hoping they think they will be home by Mother's Day. Well, so fingers crossed. We're sending them lots of good vibes. Yeah. And we want to help you celebrate your mom. We're sharing Mother's Day photos tomorrow right here on KCTV 5 News this morning. So share a picture of your mom with us and let us know why she is so special to you. Just go to our Facebook page and send them uh, there or you can email them to your photos at kctv5.com.